Would you say that these different theories, these conspiracy theories that have been targeting you, spun in part by folks like uh, Mr. Stone, as well as um, uh, fueled by Rudy Giuliani and others, um, basically have a tinge of anti-Semitism to them at least? Well, certainly when they involve George Soros, they do. Um, I'd just like to point out that in the early 1900s, the Tsarist secret police produced something called the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, which actually you can still obtain on the internet, and you can buy it actually sometimes in bookshops in Russia and elsewhere. This is the longest running anti-Semitic trope uh, that we have in history. And the trope against uh, Mr. Soros, George Soros, was also created for political purposes. And this is the new Protocols of the Elders of Zion. To understand the complexities and contradictions in his personality, you have to go back to the very beginning, to Budapest, where George Soros was born 68 years ago to parents who were wealthy, well-educated, and Jewish. When the Nazis occupied Budapest in 1944, George Soros' father was a successful lawyer. He lived on an island in the Danube and liked to commute to work in a rowboat. But knowing there were problems ahead for the Jews, he decided to split his family up. He bought them forged papers, and he bribed a government official to take 14-year-old George Soros in and swear that he was his Christian godson. But survival carried a heavy price tag. While hundreds of thousands of Hungarian Jews were being shipped off to the death camps, George Soros accompanied his phony godfather on his appointed rounds, confiscating property from the Jews. These are pictures from 1944 of what happened to George Soros' friends and neighbors. You're a Hungarian Jew mm -hmm. who escaped the Holocaust mm -hmm. by posing as a, a Christian. Right. And you watched lots of people get shipped off to the death camps. Right. My understanding is, is that you went out with this protector of yours who swore that you were uh, his adopted godson. Yes, yes, yes. Went out, in fact, and helped in the confiscation of property yes. from the Jews. That's right. Yes. I mean, that's, that sounds uh, like an experience that would send lots of people to the psychiatric couch for many, many years. Was it difficult? Uh, uh, not, not, not at all. No. No feeling of guilt? No. Uh, 